In this part, we're going to aim to um, allow a user to enter a message in here along with their name as well and have this sent to our Node.js server and then insert subsequently into our MongoDB database. So the first thing that we need to do is a couple of things um, just to help us out along the way. By the way, we're going to be doing all of this inside of uh, our page. We're not going to be doing this in an external file just simply because uh, for the purpose of this video it's just going to make it easier for us to look at the elements and, and work out things so um, this is obviously best suited in an external JavaScript file uh, once it goes into production or even during development so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, function here and this is going to basically wrap all of our functionality so that's basically it just so we don't have any globals anywhere um, what I'm going to do is create a useful function that's going to be called get node, and this is just going to return uh, a query selector based on what we pass through to it. All this means is that we don't have to use jQuery to go ahead and select, you know, values or anything. So this isn't going to work on all browsers. It's not going to work on earlier versions of IE. It's entirely up to you whether you want to use a library for support. I'm just doing this just because, um, you know, we're not really m massively interested in browser compatibility as such. We're, you know, learning the fundamentals behind how this works. So um, this can obviously be tweaked to work cross browser. So um, I've created this um, get node function, and this is going to return document.querySelector, and that's just going to be the string that we pass through, or the selector rather that we pass through to it. So we now want to go ahead and get the required nodes. And what, what's this going to be? Well, we need to select all of this stuff because we need to know um, you know we need the messages area to be able to input messages we need the text area and the name but let's go ahead and just focus on the text area and the name so text area equals get node chat name so we just pass the class in there and we're going to say chat name equals get node dot chat name oops sorry that one is chat text area okay so now that we've done this we can go ahead and actually access these elements and go ahead and do what we want with them but more importantly we want to go ahead and actually try a connection to our server so let's go ahead and try that and we'll catch any errors along the way because if this fails and we can't connect we can't really do anything so we want to go ahead and and uh, display this to the user eventually so um, we're going to create a variable called socket and that's going to be equal to io.connect remember exactly what we did in the console earlier and this is going to be http 127.0.0.1 and that is on port 8080 so that's that done and we're going to catch the error and this is basically just going to set status um, to warn user. We haven't actually created this functionality yet and we won't do uh, for a while so uh, we may as well just comment that out for now. Um, and what we then want to do is down here check if socket isn't undefined. And if it's not undefined I'm just going to console log OK. So uh, let's go ahead over here and just refresh and it says OK. So we I've put my console to the right hand side just so it's easier to see. Um, but yeah, that's OK now. You know, we, we don't need to worry about that. It's fine. It works. So um, what do we want to do inside of here instead? Well, what we want to do is attach an event listener to our text area. Um, so let's just say listen for key down. So this is going to be where we actually send our message. So here's uh, the sort of, uh, you know, run through. I'm going to go ahead and type a message in here as well as enter my name in here. When I'm inside of here and I hit enter, what I want that to do is detect that it is the enter key pressed. Um, I want to have the exception of holding the control key, which is going to let me go multiple, uh, the shift key, which is going to let me go multiple line. And uh, when I hit just enter on its own, that's then going to send that to the server, along with the name up here as well, which is why we've selected the name. So when we listen for key down, we just say text area. Remember, we've already got this node selected up here. We want to say add event listener. And for the event listener, we want this to be key down. Now, the function the callback here is going to store an event or return an event. 
and we want to go ahead and say var self equals this just make things easier for ourselves and we also want to say name equals chat name dot value because we also want to obtain the value from the uh, uh, the name uh, text area or text input input field so now what we want to do is check the event for the uh, enter key so I'm just gonna to test this out and this is a good tip event um, dot which so which is basically which key is pressed down so when I go ahead over here and I type in a for example it gives me the numerical equivalent of which key I press if I hit enter it comes up with 13 so we know that we can check for key 13 so here I'm gonna say if uh, event dot which equals 13 um, and event dot shift key now shift key is a property which is going to be true or false and it basically tells us if the shift key has been held down so I'm going to say that but I'm also now just going to return to my console log of event which is going to show us this so let me just test this out so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to press enter and you can see here that we've got shift key false here and we've also got uh, key code 13 and also which 13 as well so shift key false now I'm going to hold the shift key and press enter and we've got shift key and true so that also says 13 for the which because we pressed enter as well so what this is basically going to allow us to do is then if we get rid of that um, we're going to say console.log send so this is when the data is going to be sent so if I'm in here and I type hello and just hit enter that's going to send that data if I'm in here and I type hello and then I hold down the shift key and hit enter we don't send anything and I'm going to type hello there again shift shift and enter again and hello then I'm just going to hit enter on its own and it says send so that's basically how we can allow users to do multiple lines in the uh, air in the uh, uh, text area so if this is the case what do we want to do well we want to go ahead and actually send this data so how do we do this well we already looked at socket.emit the emit method on the socket that we've already loaded in here um, using socket io obviously so we want to go ahead and say socket.emit and we want to pass in an object here after we specify the name remember the input is the name that I'm listening for here so we know this functionality works but we're just listening for input um, and this is just going to be an object I'm going to pull this down just to make it a little bit easier to read and we're going to say name is name remember name is here and we're going to say message self dot value now we created self here which refers to the actual text area and value is the property which contains the text that's actually within this text area so now what we're going to do is test this out so um, let's go ahead and just pull over our this here Can make this a little bit smaller just to see what we're doing okay so this is our node.js server I'm going to type hello and hit enter and you can see here invalid oh invalid yes we know it's invalid because we haven't enter, entered a name we will eventually pass this through to here but for now we just get the message inside of here so Alex hello hit enter and it says inserted so we can now take a look over to our database uh, if I just pull this over and there we go so we've got Alex message hello we've got this n character here but this won't be a problem in future um, well actually no this is fine it doesn't really matter too much for now but um, we'll be fixing all this up in a moment um, so uh, we now know that we can send data I can send that again if I want to um, you know everything works fine um, but the only thing that we're missing is the sort of ability really at this stage to let us know that the message has been sent and also as well um, clear this field when we hit enter now we're not going to clear this field within if we return to our code inside of here the reason being is that basically what we don't want to do is clear it here because if there's a problem we don't want it to clear the field if we want to return the error please enter your name um, also I've just remembered that we need event.prevent 
default in here and that's just going to prevent the default behavior uh, for this key down so if i was to type in billy hello there hit enter and that goes ahead or it should go ahead and send that so let's just take a look and let's just check this yeah there we go so that's that's been entered that's absolutely fine but what we're missing is obviously the ability to you know say uh, alex test i've hit enter that's gone ahead and inserted but it hasn't cleared this or passed back a status so what we're going to do is in the next video just focus on this status functionality and this is going to come from node.js itself as well and uh, that's just going to provide us the ability to clear this if it's been sent successfully and also send back things like errors and things like that so we'll go ahead and focus on that that's a little bit boring but then we'll get to the fun part and actually get some messages loaded through here uh, so we can actually you know start chatting on this